Oh, hello. It is, I mean, look, it's the middle of February. Uh, I am doing a quick video just before I take off. I have a concert on tonight, uh, seeing Mudvayne and Call Chamber, which is going to be super awesome. Um, but seeing as I have a face on, I figured I would just quickly film an update video, technically for January, but also like half of February, um, because I was going to do it last week and got sick. So it's been, it's been a time. Um, basically there are only two projects that I worked on, um, for the most part in January. Um, there were the two WIPGO projects because, um, on WIPGO I had the Flossy Fox finish. Um, which was just to finish parts 1 through 3 when 3 was released um, and then a new start with 500 stitches um, those have been the only two projects that I've touched during that time period um, so Flossy Fox like they both I, I got both done um, and I've been really fixated on the new start unsurprisingly um, so Flossy Fox so that's parts one through three. Uh, part four has been released now, and I will be getting that going soon. Um, but I want to do this month's whip go goals, and then I'll be starting on that one. But because I'm really close to actually finishing the new start, um, I'm kind of focusing on that a bit. And that one is the raccoon kit that I showed off in the last video um, and I'll put like a little picturey thingy in um, but that is where it is up to so far um, so basically I'm going to backstitch the bottom um, and then I'm going to move the hoop up a little bit just so I've got a bit more space to do the tips of the ears and the um, leaves and stuff that are up here um, <laughs> Oh, that's a really bad message timing. I've got to my phone on silent. Um, it's a little bit chaotic here at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's where this one is up. It is so weird to be stitching on 11 count Adol because I've not done that in a very, very long time. Um, so yeah, but it's just it's just the kit Ada, it's the kit floss, um, and then it will be all done. But making really good progress on it. Um, definitely hit the 500 stitches on it uh, before the end of last month. Um, this month's whip go goals are smaller. So I have the Fall of Arthas, um, which is my big World of Warcraft project, uh, which is a thousand stitches that I need to do on that. And then finishing the Dragonfly on the Dragonfly Mandala. This month's whip go is to finish the Dragonfly on the Dragonfly Mandala. Um, which isn't that much. It's mostly the wings. So it'll just be finishing the wing on this side and then the wings on the other side. It shouldn't be too long. The only problem, this fabric is so stiff um, that when I put it in the hoop it can stand upright. Um, it's horrible. Um, but that's what I'm working with. And then Arthas. No, it's not still in here. Um, I have Illidan on that end of the bed, so and Arthur's wandered in before, but he's wandered out again by the looks of it. Um, but for Arthur's, haven't decided whereabouts I want to do some stitching, um, but it'll be a thousand stitches on this project. So that is where we are at on Arthur's this way. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I don't know. I might, maybe I'll fill in some of actual Arthas. Maybe I'll do a bit more of the outline to make him a little bit more prominent. That would be cool. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I feel like when I get to it. Um, but a thousand stitches, I should, in theory, be able to do in one, maybe two days. Um, because when I was, I've completely stopped tracking um, how many stitches I'm doing because it's a paper pattern for the raccoon, so I don't want to count paper stitches. Um, but when I was tracking um, through the digital pattern, 
at under the blue. I was averaging. I was doing two to five hundred stitches a day. There are some days that I went over. Um, oh no, so about five hundred would be the top. Um, but yeah, so I was doing quite a number of stitches. Um, and the higher stitch days are days where I just put a show on and just binge watch a show or watched an episode of Critical Role to, to catch up because I'm a little bit behind on that still. Um, but yeah, I figured, I figured I could probably, I could probably do a thousand stitches in one day. It's not going to be too bad. Um, and the Dragonfly Mandala... I can I can do as the finishing out for the month um, but yeah I, I figured I can give myself a couple more days because I did lose a couple of days of stitching from being sick and see how we go but I am going to is gonna be a short video um, I'm going to go finish getting ready I'm gonna put shoes on put some extra food down for the cats make sure they've got enough water all that stuff and then go to a concert so I'll see you next video.